Hello everyone. Um, I want to talk about how to install Kivi for Windows 7. I know it's very specific. Windows 7 Python uh, version 3. And so I just went through the process of installing it all. So um, I'm going to basically show you the main idea, the thing that you got to make sure you get down first to get this to work. And this is going to probably be the same for whether you're doing development on Mac, Linux, whatever. Uh, Kivi.org is for creating intuitive user interface. N-U-I is what the N is for intuitive. And so you go to the site, you click on download. In this case, we're using Windows uh, 7, 8, 10. It looks like it should work on all of these. And so um, the instructions using uh, PIP, and that's what I recommend you do, follow the instructions here. I'm going to click on here, and the first thing I want to point out is don't do what I did. I, I missed the warning. And right here it says Python 3.5 is not supported on Windows due to some issues. Okay, so and support is not expected for some time. So if you want to read more about it, you can. But the real key was the first thing I had to do is uninstall Python 3.5. So you're going to uninstall it. You're going to go back to the Python um, website, and you want to go to Downloads, and you want to look um, at all the different um, different releases. So if you scroll down here, you're looking for the latest 3.4, right here, 3.4.5. And you just download it, you run it through the install, just do standard installation, and you should be good on there. Um, in order to do PIP, you're probably also going to need to set environment variables. So let me show you where that is. So again, if you're on Windows, and this should work on any of these, you want to go to Windows and you want to go to Control Panel. And I don't know why it always skips this. If I miss it early on, it goes away. Here's my Control Panel. And we're looking for environment variables. So I'm just going to type in environment. Um, there it is. Edit environment variables for your account. Click it. Now, a couple things you've got to do. It's under System Variables. There are two system variables you're going to need to set. One should already be there, one called Path. Okay, so you should see something on there. If you don't have it, then maybe you need to do that. And we need to edit this at this point. And right here, it's not giving me that ability to edit. I think it may be that I'm not doing this under, um, with, uh, oh, maybe it's this one. Here we go. Just see if I can get it here. Yeah, here we got the edit window. Okay, that's, that was from path, edit. Okay, notice the things I added here. Uh, the C Python 3.4, C Python uh, 3.4 LIV. This other one was already set there from an earlier installation, didn't seem to work. Where you get that path, you're going to want to just go into your C drive wherever you stored it. You'll notice there's a Python 3.4 folder directly in the C drive. That's where I'm getting it from, both this path as well as the library path. These two paths, I added both of those to the environment variables. Okay, both of them. Notice there's a semicolon in between each one. If you don't have one that says path, add it. You click OK. Then you want to go down to Python. This one, it says to add the Python path. So if you don't have one that says Python path, just click New, type it out, all caps you'll note. Variable values are going to be pretty much the same. So I'm going to click on Edit. And um, you'll see here we got Python 3.4. Oh, there's one other one that I added here, and I don't know if it's required or not, but I added the DLLs folder. I can show you that real quick. Python DLLs. And you can copy that. If it's not working, try it. Honestly, I tried like a lot of different ones based on what I saw in Stack Exchange. So I don't know which one was the magic trick. Um, but if you get all these, it should work. And if it doesn't, just now you want to Google, right? And you want to just see if there's another one, another person who's encountered this problem. Add a semicolon at the end of each of these. They're not required at the end, but if you forget and you paste a new one in, you might miss it. You got to click OK and go ahead and click OK. And then in order to do all the installations, it says to use pip. I'll show you that. You want to find command line. And in Windows, it's just CMD in your search. There it is, command line. If you're in a Mac, you want to go to the terminal. Linux, no idea. It's probably similar. The, the interesting thing is they're all relatively the same. Um, if you're on a Mac, you're going to have to install some other things. You're going to have to look it up. Um, I've tried it before. I'm going to run this administrator because you can't install software if you're not. I click yes. 
you got on here. Now, um, here are all of these. So let me just walk you through. Um, the rest is what you do. And then you once you have Python installed, if you have Python 3.4, you're already going to have pip on here. And let's just double check this out. Python dash dash version. Um, if you're not getting the Python version on here, you're missing something in the environment variables. There's no point in proceeding if you can't get it to show this. And then from here on out, it's these commands. And you can just right click, copy, and you can paste it in. So um, if you don't need it, GStreamer is, uh, I think, for a graphics streamer. It's for streaming video. And it's pretty large. So if you don't need it, you, you, you might skip it. I went ahead and put it in. I basically did all three of these steps, one after another. Uh, again, right there, there's that note. If you get a permission denied, you get red stuff popping up. Try the command prompt. If you do not get, if you try it on Python 3.5, it's just not going to work. Don't even try it. Uninstall it. Install the earlier one. All right. Once you've got it all installed, now it's time to write some code. Okay. So I just dug around installation of first app Pong game tutorial. Create an application, turn it into a playable Pong game. Let's test this out. I'm just going to copy the code and I got to open up idle and create new. And we'll call this uh, kivy test.py. Paste. Copy this name. Save. Library. We'll just do it in documents. We'll put a little Kivi projects. Is that with one V or two? One V. Okay. Kivi test.py. Save. F5 to run. Warning. Hey, look at that. Hello, world. All right. We've got our app. And so I now know Kivi works. Okay, and there you have it. That's how you install it. That's how you get it running. And that's how you can test out a game. So go forth and code your Kivi um, and see what other kinds of things you can do. App Lifecycle, you can learn all kinds of awesomeness. And uh, there's all your notes. I'll let you work on it. Have fun.